hello all welcome back so in today's video we are going to discuss about very important topic that is what is difference between instance template image machine image and snapshot in google cloud so even when i started learning google cloud for the first time and it was the most confusing for me to understand difference between all these four what is instance template what is image washing machine image and what is a snapshot and when to use which option so these are a very confusing if you are new to google cloud so i just want to make it simpler for you that's why i'm creating this video and i'll show you a live demo how these four can be created and how these four can be used in a google cloud for a various different purpose so i will start with first what is instance template so instance template is resource that you can use to create instance in gcp like your blueprint so instance template i will give you a simple example whenever you are creating your profile or resume you will just ask your friend to send the sample and then inside that resume you just edit your information your skills your name but you just refer that blueprint to create your own resume similar way instant template is nothing but a blueprint where you define okay what is the machine configuration what what is the image you want and based on that template you can create a multiple vms or group of vms or a single vms it won't hold any kind of data it's just a configuration metadata okay so i'll show you how we can use this instance template and i will go to my cloud console now and quickly show how we can create instance template and how we can create a virtual machine using this instance template so let's go to cloud console now so i am here on my cloud console let me go to a compute engine and in compute engine we have option instance template okay so let me go to instance template and let me create one instance template so it will ask me a very basic details here so i will give the name as a test and the label so i want label so this instance template i am creating supports for my dev environment so i will just give environment dev and i want this instance template to be used uh, for my i would say only for linux machine so i will give os linux okay and i will save it so these labels are added here so machine configuration now i will keep as it is so e2 medium and the boot disk i will use debian linux so here in uh, networking so i will add the tag so i want to tag as like vm1 or https tag so i'm just adding these tags network i want a default network only and with each this uh, template i want to add one disk so i want to add so name currently it is not allowing so just let me create 10 size and save so it will have new disk whenever we use this template with a 10 GB and let's create this template now template is a created let me refresh okay it displaying all details now now suppose whenever we want to create a new instance we have to fill all the details like all the tags all the labels the number of disk the machine image sorry not machine image the image we want all the details we have to fill but if you are using the instance template then these details are already available in the template now let's see how we can create instance from the template so i'll simply click on this three dot and create vm okay and i'm not doing anything i'm not changing anything i'm simply going and click on create so it is creating instance for me so the test one instance i am creating using my instance template okay so instance is created let me open this instance 
okay let's see the property of this instance now so you could see the labels are already attached while creating instance i didn't attach this label but it was already part of my labels in instance template so this e2 medium already was part of instance template and this network tax i added and the network also so even it attached one additional disk because this was mentioned as a part of my instance template okay and even if you want to create a instance group you need a instance template you cannot create managed instance group or you want to create identical vm then you need a instance template so if i go to create instance group so i want to create suppose a five identical vms and if i go on managed instance group it will ask me to create, select instance template without instance template i cannot create my managed instance group so that is all about instance template it is just a configuration we can define to create our virtual machines now we'll see the what is image now so what is image so image is pre-configured virtual machine that you can use to create an instance it contains an operating system pre-installed software and other configuration you can use public images provided by gcp to create your own custom image images are useful when you want to deploy consistent software now just if you have ever wondered so whenever you buy a new laptop you have to install your own windows operating system in your laptop but whenever you are creating a virtual machine in google cloud you don't need to install windows separately you don't need to install linux separately you just use a image so if i go to cloud console okay and if i click on create instance so let me scroll down in image section yeah so here in image i can select which image i want so it is nothing but a pre-installed os so i can select sql server only uh, windows ubuntu i have red hat linux i have centos i have windows everything all operating system i can use so this is nothing but these are already installed on a boot disk and that we can use to create our instance so hope this is clear these public images are nothing but pre-installed software inside a boot disk or a vm that we use to create our vm instance so this is a image whenever you are creating instance you need to select an image so that's it about image so it is not much difficult to understand the image concept so it is nothing but a pre-installed os you can say now we'll see what is a machine image so let me go back to my slide so machine image is a special type of image that captures the state of disk or a persistent disk rather than a state of vm it includes the contents of one or more disk along with the metadata a machine image allow you to create new instances that are identical to the source disk at the same at the time machine image was created now this machine image nothing but a simple word a backup of your vm so suppose if you have a virtual machine and it is having three disks attached to that virtual machine and suppose if you want to take the backup of your vm you can take a machine image what will happen it will store all your vm metadata as well as all the data and disks so it will take backup of your vm as well as backup of your disk attached to vm so that is a machine image so let me show you how we can take a machine image so i am on my cloud console so what i will do i will take machine image of this test one vm so go to machine image create machine image here you have to select your a source vm instance so you have to take a backup of test one and here i will give machine image of test one okay and i'll simply so here you can just choose multi-regional if you want to use backup of your vm in another region so suppose your currently vm is in us central one and you want to create similar vm or you want to move your vm from us central one to us east four then you can take backup of vm using machine image and you can restore this machine image in another region so i'll choose multi-regional create okay so it will take time as it will take a backup of your boot disk as well as additional disk along with your metadata okay now our machine image is ready okay so using this machine image i can create a similar instance along with the data 
so suppose i have 100 files or 100 videos inside my test one this is in us central one and i want to restore the same virtual machine with the same data in us east 4 i can use a machine image so let's go to machine image click on this machine image and i'll click on create instance and now while creating the instance i will choose another region over here i will choose us east 4 okay and let me create instance so it will be created along with all the data so it is nothing but we are restoring the backup of test one using a machine image okay so machine image is created let me open this machine image sorry uh, instance is created let me open and let me see if it is having all metadata and this attached to it so the labels are there and even the disk is there and additional disk is also there even if we have any data inside this it would be definitely here so i am not testing currently with the data because it will take time to go inside the vm and then upload or download some data so but yeah this machine image will contains your metadata as well as all the data from all the disk so this is a very good for a backup and a restore now the last thing what is a snapshot so snapshot is a point in time recovery copy of a disk or a persistent disk so it is nothing but same like machine image but machine image is backup of your vm along with all disk but snapshot is backup of your single disk so suppose if you are taking a snapshot of your disk at a 12 am it will have the data till the 12 am now and you upload some 1 GB of data into that disk and now again you will take a snapshot at 1 pm then it will the data of 1 GB only so it will have only incremental data so first backup will always full backup of your disk and the rest of the backup will contains only the change of data so it is used to take backup of your disk so if I go to a so in cloud console let me go to a snapshot okay and here i can create a snapshot of my disk so i will choose source disk as my test disk or i will choose instance one disk and i'll create a snapshot so it will have backup of my disk of instance one okay now you could see the snapshot created with the size 528 mb so this is actual data inside your disk now suppose if i again create snapshot of the same disk we'll see how much data it will take so i will create the snapshot of the same disk again and we'll see how much data it will show let me refresh so it created with a zero byte why it is zero byte so just take a look at the timing so first snapshot created at 244 second created 245 so we created second snapshot after one minute and in this one minute there is no data added into the disk so this is an incremental snapshot so whenever we are taking the snapshot the first snapshot will always be a full snapshot and the rest of the disk snapshot will have incremental so suppose if i upload any 1 gb file to this disk and then take snapshot then it will only have that additional 1 gb of data in the snapshot and while restoring we always have to restore the latest snapshot so if i restore this snapshot even if it is showing a zero byte it will have 528 mb of data if you want to know more about snapshot and snapshot scheduling you can refer my previous videos on a snapshot and snapshot scheduling so that's all about our four concept about a image instance template machine image and snapshot so if you still have any confusion or any doubt let me know i'll connect with you and we'll try to help you out so thank you for watching video we'll see you again